Okay, so t right now I'm just gonna just kind of do some cleaning maintenance on. I already started, but I'm gonna do some cleaning maintenance for our Pier Mini at Tiger Butt because it's been a long time. So if you guys are like, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you'll remember when I made this using some cork bark and some other things. Um, it turned out really, really well. The one problem I had, and I had to put a bunch of springtails in here, is that this particular type of dry moss that I got started to grow a white mold, but the springtails took care of it really well, and so I was really grateful for that. But yeah, here's this hide, and I will be putting this hide back in there because it has um, used it a lot, and it looks like it enjoys it. So I'll just set that aside and see if we can see the tarantula in here. Here's like its web casing that it's made. So I'm actually trying, you guys remember when I got my HMAC. The HMAC actually stresses me out quite a bit. I'm not super sure how to take care of it. Um, and I struggle with some other old world arboreals as well. But this little lady, tiger butt is the sweetest tarantula in the whole world she's probably our best eater and she has never given me any problems this is the first time I've ever handled her and it was on accident but she is the best eater. She's always eating, she's always hungry, and she's been super easy to take care of. Let me just see if I can get her into a catch cup really fast. There she is. Let's see if we can... One of the other nice things about her is when we got her, it was for a report I was doing on Venezuela. I didn't actually know that much about this species, but we got lucky. And that's our cat Sebastian, who has never seen one of our tarantulas out like this before. Hi Sebastian. What do you have to say, Sebastian? Yeah, you wanna go outside? Yeah, she's a very talkative cat. <laughs> so, I am curious. I was looking on Jamie's tarantulas the other day, and she's having a Black Friday sale in which she is selling a Kilobrachy Symbriotis sling for $25, but that includes an enclosure. And I don't have any Asian tarantulas right now, so I'm really curious if you guys like that. Please comment down below and leave a like if you guys think that I should get a Kilobrachy Symbriotis. close-up look at that amazingly beautiful spider. Let me get it into better light. The males look different than this. This is a female and the males will typically have a more brown coloration around the entire body and they won't have that orange striped rump. I also kind of like this enclosure because she really blends in with the cork bark. But yeah, there she is, my Pierminia, who my wife and I have named Tiger Butt. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below and like this video if you think I should get a Kilobrachys Fimbriatus and make it an awesome hide like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more 8-Legged Cuteness Weekly and have a great day, you guys.